You obviously know Kung Fu. Hey, Jeff Peter here with the Kung Fu Driving Podcast. We are at the Urban Action Showcase and Expo. We are at Table 39, and it says Jose Manuel Brigan, but we're also here with Hector Soria. Hey, hey guys, how is the show going for you guys? Good, uh, good so far. I mean, it's, uh, it's always fun to be here. Uh, I love the fact that we've been coming since it started, day one, and the amount of friends and collaborative projects and we've done is, is just uncanny now. Now it's just uncanny. I'm very happy to be here every year and uh, like I said earlier, it's always very nice to see that every time I come here I just feel like we're all vibing together and the energy just goes up and it sets you up for the next year, you know, so uh, now in 2024 you start with a fresh mind and just high spirits because all of this is just makes you feel full, you know, after the work that you do, it's a great place to be at at the end of the year, you know, so it's, also, it's always great. Alright, and you've got a whole... Uh Selection of Borican yeah, I'm merchandise here. So talk to me about that project. Well, Borican is my personal project. Um, it's a project that I've been. Well, I, it started when I was a teenager in the sense that I did uh, kind of like the same concept, but you know it wasn't it wasn't as ready by by that time. But after a while and while of you know having experiences working with other filmmakers and doing other stuff, you gather uh, a lot of knowledge, and then you try to revisit that that it, that project in which you said, "Hey, this is what I want to do, and this is how I want to start it." So it's like going back full circle and saying, "Hey, I want to keep in touch with my roots." With when when I started, I tried to do this, and now I want to take it. I, I want to reinvent it and do it again. So it's a response to that. Um, the short film, it's, it's already done. We want to make it into a feature. I believe, you know, this could be a good year for that. Um, we have other projects aligned, which actually have me very excited. I think that one is going to take to the other also. And some other projects that I also did that are probably going to also help all these other independent projects that I'm doing. So I'm very excited to what is to the, for the future. Awesome. Uh, speaking of independent projects, Hector, are, are you involved with Oregon? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, I went out for a few days to Puerto Rico to help Jose, you know, to give him a hand for a few days to film and do some action stuff and stuff like that. So it was uh, awesome. And of course, and we're here, you know, while he's checking out the rest of the place, uh, trying to get his brand out as much as we can from, you know, the new little action figures. <laughs> yeah, you know, action figures to the new comic. Uh, to uh, the board, skateboard, mini skateboards and stuff like that for now, so... Where's the Hector Soria figure? Oh, uh, no, oh, not it's yet, coming. not yet. It's coming, oh not yeah. Yet. Oh yeah. So, but um, but yeah, you know, trying to get the brand out, hopefully we'll be able to uh, fully get this into a full feature film, and, you know, if it does well, get it to become possibly like a TV series. And then if it does well, make it into a TV series cartoon, animation. You know, and I guess that would be the goal with this because it has that flair of it. Even if you watch like, like the the opening, or you watch like the actual how uh, how the trailer is, you get the sense of an actual TV show. Like, or uh, and if you and, and now looking at the comic, it's like wow, this can actually be an animation. So that would be a cool direction to go with this project. And um, yeah, man, we're just crossing our fingers and thanking the fans uh, here actually uh, the fans have been coming here coming to the table explaining them about the story and what the character and the story and everything is and the truth of it is it really is like an Indiana Jones kind of style archaeologist kind of thing mixed with Jackie Chan level Hong Kong action martial arts and, it, and, and it's great because we all love that you know and um, and it's just the, the Puerto Rican Latin version of it <laughs> So, but but it's great, but it's great. I can't wait for everyone to see it and fully see the full story of it. It's gonna be awesome. Now, talk to me about that action specifically, though. What was the genesis of the the style of action for all of Puerto Rico? Well, I've been learning a lot about old Hollywood. Um, first movie, 1921, Zorro, Douglas Fairbanks. I started getting into that more and understanding how are they telling the story without speaking and going even more to that, more to that. But understanding all the beats, how they do stuff that it's very conscious, but they look, it looks organic, it looks like it just happened in the moment. But it's all premeditated. So I started like, hey, try to, try to feel the music of your project. 
try to feel the pacing on your project. And then I started like trying to explore that more and thinking about that more instead of thinking about what movement should I do or what type of martial art is he doing. It's more like, you know, uh, how he reacts to the moment or how he moves in a certain timing and using that as a base instead of, you know, leaning into, oh, I want to do this cool move or I want to do this other stuff. So it's less of that and more like you're kind of like dancing with, with what you're looking at. So I remember watching old Jackie Chan movies also, in which if you see these movies in mute, without volume, you could feel the energy. You could feel that you're not, oh, it doesn't take away from what you were watching. And it always, I was like, how is he doing this? How this is happening? I'm watching this movie on mute, and I feel like I'm, I am hearing it. So having that reverse engineering and saying, oh, I got it, it's just like podcasting. It's just like every other thing. You can't let it fall to the floor. One person says something, the other person says another thing. So that timing is what I'm playing with, and hopefully it's translating. I'm learning about it more and more, and trying to hone my style into more of that, more of that. Maybe in the future, who knows? Maybe I'll do other type of stuff, not, not necessarily related only to action. So, but it's the same premise. Hector, the, uh, the action that you, you went down there to, to help put, what did, what did you feel uh, was uh, your contribution to how it looks on screen and, and how it moves? Well, I mean, I, I, well, he already had a vision of like the style and stuff like that. So just to be able to have, be able to either do camera work, follow his direction of like the previous that he already kind of shot for a lot of the stuff that we did um, was already pretty much done. But to be able to just give a hand to your friends you know, to make their make them help grow because you know, to me, it's like I was telling someone recently, and it's a uh, you know, support your friends just like you support these celebrities that don't even know you, man. Oh yeah. You know, you got tons of people, and it doesn't matter what your friends doing, movies, podcasts, this, whatever it is, support them because at least they know you. I know you know that in the end, when they get to a certain level, they're gonna be like, man, these guys really were there for me. This, uh, and mind you, and that's just. You don't, they don't need to, but morally, a, a real respectful person would do that. You, you're spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on these films, on these this, that, to celebrities that don't, don't know who you are. You're just a, a, another dollar, you know? And that's one of the things I think I love about the independent film, is that, you know, we get to control our own, I guess it was like destiny or whatever, that will lead us to where we're going. And I think uh, after being at the Urban Action, um, meeting people like yourself that help promote the brand that is indie films and martial arts and all that that we're truly 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 humble for that uh, I think that we started you know here at the urban somewhere in 2012 uh, 2012 2013 uh, sorry was it well, yeah I was here 15 yeah you were early and to now see that our hard work is paying off, able for us to see yeah. that we went from here and now we're working with celebrities, top actors, top producers, TV show people, um, you know, and getting to that level, we know that we've been on the right path. Yeah, it took a little longer than most people, but the thing is, we never gave up. We just kept staying on the path regardless of any ups and downs, terrain, trials and tribulation, whatever you want to call it. The, no matter if his path went this way, my path went like this, when we both got to the top of the mountain, we all seen the same view. That's right. And, it, and it's great to um, be up there with people like yourself, like with Jose, and all the rest of our crew. And, and I love that, and I love that. And, I, and I've always said that I've always got into films. It wasn't because of the money. It was like, even if there was no money, I would still be filming because we love it so much. The, the financial aspect is a bonus, which helps me make more films. <laughs> you know, that's how I see it. All right, speaking of that, then what is the next step for Body Gang? Well, next step for Body Gang is definitely just bring back the people and just finishing it. Do the same thing that we did with the short for a couple of weeks and actually finishing it. So yeah. it's really, it's not far from it being done. You know, it's yeah. almost there. Um, but there are other projects that, uh, there's another project I'm working on in Orlando with a filmmaker called Gadiel Nieves. He gave me the script and that project probably is going to come before, I think. Uh, it's called uh, Through Your Eyes Darkly. It's a different type of movie. 
and he gave me the script and I was like, you know what? This is great because now I get to do two characters that are like totally different. It's like, you know, a yin yang type of thing. And I believe that at least independently, after I have that, I believe that I, I'm showing people what I really can do. Yeah. And then after that, you know, I mean, not relaxing, probably another idea will pop up and then I'll continue <laughs> creating. But you would say, okay, up until here, I've done everything that I can, and then you start setting up to what's next again. Yeah. But I'm very excited. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on aside from that. Um, I can't disclose them yet, but I know, I know that this the last this by the end of this year, there's a lot of exciting things that I'm going to be able to share with everybody, and I'm just excited that you know not only me. Uh, my uh, my buddies here from Spain, Nacho, you know, art school dropouts working with Michael Jai. There's a lot of stuff that is just for me. There's just like small miracle, and I really see them like that. So I get a little emotional, but also very happy that I get to spend and share time with people that understand who I am. And you feel like you fit somewhere, and that at the very end, you know, that's the that's the biggest currency to be honest. You know, for sure. For sure. Hector, how about you? What what projects you have going? On? So, um, I just finished doing, uh, well, it actually just came out on uh, Amazon Prime, Bam Bam Betty 2, um, Revenge, uh, Valerie's Revenge. Uh, that just came out, which is more of, uh, I was supposed to go there to help a friend, Gary uh, Choi, who was a stunt coordinator, help him with some action stuff. And turned out that the director liked my look and was like, this guy could play the bad guy. So then, you know, he asked me to send my uh, my acting reel and all that stuff. And next thing you know, I'm playing the lead bad guy in this like feature film. So that's pretty cool. Got a chance to uh, try new skill sets as, a, as an actor. Um, but uh, I also did uh, another film that the trailer just dropped today. And it's um, called Spades. Cool. You know, like uh, Jack of Spades kind of yeah, yeah, card. Yeah. Spades and um, it's with uh, Johnny M. Bosch, one of the original members of Power Rangers. And I wore a lot of hats on this project, which I'm very really proud of because I did a lot of the cinematography, the lighting, help with camera work, action design. Um, I think I'm gonna have so many names on all the credits that, uh, but it was, yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, but it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it, it was an experience because having, uh, of course, Johnny M. Bosch himself unbelievable to kind of guide me and, uh, and just tell me hey I need this 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 and instantly I knew it uh, I would take a picture or a video of it show it to him see if he liked it he liked it and we just went in on and film and to have him kind of like guide me and uh, kind of open my eyes to become a better filmmaker and um, and other than just a stunt performer and all that stuff uh, was a very great experience and uh, Everybody can go online on Instagram now to watch the trailer. The trailer's out. It's uh, just beautiful. I mean, it's it really is like I, I, it's just yeah. It's just it's just a beautiful. Even the trailer is so exciting to watch, and there's a, a lot of action, a lot of good acting, and uh, I can't wait for y'all all to fully see the project. And you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. It's all right. So, so then give them the socials. Where can they follow to catch the trailer and then to follow you? Uh, you can go on uh, Johnny on Bosch's uh, Instagram under Johnny on Bosch. Uh, you can watch it also on Johnny on Bosch's studio, which is uh, Vox uh, Vox Studio Productions. And uh, I think also it's on Jason Norby, who played the character of Skull for Power Rangers, a uh, good friend of mine. He's also part of the film. You can also watch it at his uh, his Instagram. And Jose, all your socials? Oh, swashbucklerstudio.com. I, I think that's the best way because there, you can find my socials up there. You, you can just click Instagram, yeah. click Facebook. You know, everything is there. If you want to go directly to Instagram, go to the silent flute underscore underscore, um, which I think, I don't know which either or is harder to type. <laughs> but um, yeah, swashbucklerstudio.com and the silent flute underscore underscore, and you can find me there. Special shout out to Cameron Ramon Studios and Andrew also that is right here. You know, all of these people, they, they, yeah, yeah, we are you. all in many ways helping each other. Yeah. There's so much credit here, man, that it's just beyond what we can even remember. Yeah. But I, we, we try all the time, like, dude, you know, we, 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 we yeah, need no, to like, be very Cameron aware. Studios, uh, Art School Dropout, 
R4 Films, uh, Deviant Children Productions, uh, Swashbuckler Studios. So what's crazy um, is that here in the urban action, like you end up help, everybody help, end up helping everybody. Yeah, well, that's I think that's the goal is that yeah. when you come here, is collaborative with a lot of people, speak to a lot of people, and stay in contact to be like, hey, are you free? Can you help me? I need an extra body. And I think that alone um, speak to the masses. You know? And the Kung Fu Driving Podcast, which is actually... There you go, you there know, you go, yes. yes. Nobody, nobody cares about the yeah, 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 yeah. So that we can say all of this, if not where, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. I love the platform. I, I said it before, I say it again. First time I was here, you interviewed me. I was like, oh my God, I love this podcast. And now, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm in it. So it's, 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 I'm grateful that I'm here yeah. again. And that you stay, you know, doing your stuff and yes, the same sir. people, you know, get, they give each other the same warmth. So I'm more yeah. just grateful, man. Well, it's, uh, it's great to, to follow all of your success. And uh, I hope one day you're way too big for the Kung Fu Driving Podcast. Oh, oh that's God. never. That's the one thing that's never going to happen. Because I, think, I happen. think even if we've gotten to like Dude. a real high level, I think we will always know that this is where had had guided us. We will always come back here, always come back to you. Uh, uh, and and that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. You gotta stay humble, no matter how far you go. Awesome. Best of luck, guys, on the rest of the show. Enjoy. Uh, best of luck on what again on all of your projects. Uh, thank uh, you. Everybody, follow them all over their socials, and uh, we'll make sure to keep up with you wherever you guys go. Best of luck, guys. Thank, uh, thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate Blessings. it. Thank you. Poison plan rocks the world.